All right, everyone. Um, good evening. This is Dr. Shiva Adure. Today, we're going to have a conversation um, in our pet health series. A lot of you have asked about me doing a whole series on pet health and a systems approach to that. So we're going to continue that series with the discussion today on a very, very important nutrient that's called turmeric. And turmeric, as you can see here, um, is a, um, a powerful herb that also has valuable things for pet um, immune and joint health. We're going to look at both. And we're going to look at a whole systems approach, but we're going to look at its power on immune health. Uh, and we're going to take a whole systems approach to it. That's what we're going to do today. And um, as a part of this, I want to just let everyone know that um, everything we do at our movement, that you can see right here, Truth Freedom Health, is to teach people how to think, think from a systems approach. So you can think from a systems approach to look at your body as a system, politics as a system, everything in the world as a system, your pet as a system, and then you can start figuring out what are the right uh, things in a particular situation, be it in a political situation, be it in a uh, relationship situation, be it for your body, et cetera. And that's what we focus on at Truth Freedom Health. We teach you the science of systems. So uh, before I start, I want to give you a, a preview into my journey into systems a science uh, by playing a quick video. And then we'll be back. We're going to talk about turmeric as a part of our whole systems approach for pets. Welcome to VA Shiva. VA Shiva is a product of my journey across East and West, science and tradition, ancient and modern, that brings you the science of systems so you can become a force for truth, freedom, health. VA Shiva is a platform of revolutionary education, community building, and weaponry for unleashing local activism. My journey to VA Shiva begins in the chaos of Bombay, where I experienced diverse religions, languages, castes, and in a small village that had no running water, no electricity, where my grandmother, a poor village farmer, practiced Siddha, an ancient system of Indian medicine over 10,000 years old. She observed one's face, the art of Samudrika Lakshanam, to understand a body's unique constitution, allowing her to deliver the right medicine for the right person at the right time. Watching my grandmother heal others, I was inspired to study medicine, but I was also aware of the corrupt caste system of India, which denigrated a human being, where my family were considered low caste untouchables, where one's birth determined one's destiny. The grit and determination of my mother and father led them to get educated and to come to America, a one in a trillion event. Their actions inspired me to work hard and excel. While in ninth grade, I attended New York University in a computer science program and subsequently at the age of 14 was given a full-time job as a research fellow at what is now known as Rutgers Medical School in the heart of Newark, New Jersey. There I investigated the system of sleep using mathematics, computer science and biology for sudden infant death syndrome. It was there in Newark where I invented email when I was the first to convert every feature of the physical paper-based inner office mail system including inbox, outbox, memo, carbon copy, blind carbon copy, attachments into its electronic equivalent, a system which I named email, a term that I was the first to coin. On August 30th, 1982, I was awarded the first US copyright for the invention of this system, recognizing me as the inventor of email. At that time, copyright was the only way to protect software inventions. I went on to MIT where I earned four degrees across multiple systems of engineering, electrical, mechanical, design, biological. That training led me to invent many other systems for advancing humankind. Echomail, the world's first intelligent email management system. Cytosol, a computational biology system for eliminating animal testing to discover new medicines faster, cheaper, and safer. And to the creation of a whole systems methodology for certifying clean food. These innovations led me back on a Fulbright to India, where I discovered the missing link between Eastern medicine and Western systems theory, honoring my grandmother to develop your body, your system, a powerful tool that will help you understand how your body is a system and how the inputs of food, supplements and exercise bring your body back to its natural system state and systems health an integrative educational discipline that is now integrated into the VA Shiva platform that will enable you to learn the science of systems, the science of everything, be it your body as a system or our society and politics as a system, to reveal the foundational interrelationships between truth, freedom, health. Now is the time for you to be the light. Learn the science of systems, 
build community and weaponize yourself to unleash the activism necessary to deliver truth, freedom, health in your local community. Welcome to VA Shiva. All right, everyone, welcome back to our talk today. And we're going to be talking about uh, turmeric's effect on a pet, particularly pet health. And as many of you know, we do a lot of research um, in, in our as a part of our Cytosol, as a part of our Truth and Science Initiative, to really apply systems approaches to find out what's right for every system. And today we're going to talk about pets. Um, you know, I have two pets right here, Geronimo and Sequoia. They're running around the office. Uh, but all of us care for our pets. And it's really important to understand that um, the uh, system of health that we need to uh, support our pets, we need to take a whole systems approach. So let me just jump right in and we're going to talk about pet health. Okay. So first of all, any of the content here um, in this presentation is not intended uh, to be a substitute for your uh, professional veterinarian ad advice. It's not a diagnosis. You should always seek the advice of your uh, veterinarian as a disclaimer says. So um, over the last couple of months, we've been doing a pet health series as a part of a very powerful set of nutrients we put together um, in K9701 as a part of a whole systems approach. And um, what we uh, uncovered was through the use of Cytosol, and I'll tell you what Cytosol is, that there's a need for synergy. Synergy is a principle where you recognize not any one thing is going to solve it. There's no magic bullet to health. Uh, there's no magic bullet to uh, understanding uh, uh, to solving a problem in any system. So here we've looked at a multi-systems approach. We've looked at compounds like hyaluronic acid, like MSM that I discussed uh, recently. We've looked at Indian herbs like turmeric and fenugreek. We've looked at, you know, sea vegetation like kelp, algaes like spirulina, uh, di you know, diatomaceous clay, uh, raspberry leaf, a whole bunch of different kinds of um, herbs, including red raspberry leaf and hawthorn leaf. And in combination, these things have a powerful synergistic effect. And we've put that into um, a very interesting combination of ingredients we've come out with, which we call K9701. And today we're gonna to talk about turmeric. And that's what we're gonna focus on. Uh, many of you may have heard of turmeric, you may have heard of curcumin, but we're gonna really talk about how turmeric um, is one of the components of this um, uh, very powerful whole health uh, supplement for pets. So first of all, we need to understand how does turmeric from K9701 affect pet health? First of all, what is turmeric? Well, turmeric is a widely used medicinal plant. Um, the use of turmeric um, dates back to nearly 4,000 years. Now it's traditionally used uh, for all sorts of things, uh, disorders of the skin, upper respiratory uh, tract, joints, um, as well as digestive system. And it's derived from the root. Um, it's actually to be specific, it's a rhizome from curcuma longa, which is a plant from the ginger family. So if you look at the roots, when you pull up this very green stalk, uh, there are rhizomes hanging off it, and that's what turmeric is. And it's generally recognized as safe, G-R-A-S by the FDA. That means grass. And it contains lots of chemical compounds. Now, the active compounds in turmeric are tumorones, um, which is about 3 to 5% of the rhizome, and curcuminoids, which is another 2%. Um, the effects, the biological effects of turmeric are um, quite broad from antioxidant to anti-inflammatory to anti-carcinogenic to anti-mutagenic to anti-proliferative, cardioprotective, hepatoprotective and neuroprotective. Cardio is heart, hepato is liver and neuro is brain. Um, particularly in the area of cancer, um, it ensures that the proliferation of cancer is mitigated. Um, and as you can see from this diagram, um, the places that turmeric hits in your body, which is a targets in your body, are quite broad also. Um, and obviously also for animals, pets. So it hits um, uh, enzyme targets. It hits transcription factors, apoptop apoptotic regulators, which are things that ensure cell death takes place. In cancer, for example, cells don't die as they should. It hits receptors. It is adhesion molecules, kinases, inflammatory cytokines, um, a whole bunch of others, okay, growth factors. But these 
what you see in the outer circle there are these are chemicals or places in your body that when curcumin hits, it causes a molecular reaction. So it's, there's over a hundred different molecular targets and many, many different types of targets. So again, uh, when you look at this, it almost seems like we should all be taking turmeric because the body is waiting for it in some sense. There's so many molecular targets. Um, for 4,000 years, the Indians have included this in diet. Um, the health benefits are again, quite broad as you can see, uh, skin health, brain health, joint health, liver health, uh, heart health, digestive health, wound care, immune health, reproductive health, and respiratory health. That's Geronimo. He's enjoying this discussion. He's giving us feedback. Um, now the tumorones are volatile essential oils, okay? And you can see in turmeric, there's different tumorones. There's AR uh, tumorone, um, there's alpha turmeric and there's beta turmeric, and you can see the different uh, chemical structures. As I mentioned, they consume or they constitute about up to five percent of turmeric. There are also curcuminoids, and these are phenolic compounds. Where these are volatile essential oils, these are phenolic compounds, and they occupy. You know, they consist of um, about three to four percent of turmeric, and you can see there's um, curcumin one or cur one um, D. Uh, methoxy curcumin, CUR2, and by uh, demethoxy curcumin, that's CUR3. So you have three different types of curcuminoids. So when you, when people say, oh, I take curcumin, the issue is which curcumin are they talking about? There's different curcuminoids within turmeric. Now for pet health, we want to focus on the immune system. Now, um, you know, the typical model of the immune system that you've probably heard about is a pathogen, which could be an antigen, consists, it could be on the surface of a virus or fungus or bacteria. Um, we have the innate immune system. So when your body first recognizes this foreign substance, your innate immune system reacts. And then a few hours later, minutes later, uh, the adaptive immune system reacts, which creates antibodies. So this is a classic two compartment model of the immune system. Unfortunately, this is uh, um, at least uh, about 100, uh, you know, 50 years old. Uh, um, and this is the problem that I have because my research has revealed that the immune system is far more complex. This is why during the quote unquote pandemic, I was very clear that it was really about boosting the immune system. The immune system really consists of much, many other subsystems, which I've discussed in many of the other videos. Now, when you look at the typical immune response, which is from the innate immune system, Step one is that the innate immune system, uh, like the macrophages, try to um, eat up the infectious agent, as you can see, and that's called ph phagocytosis. And then um, the second part of it is step two is that antigen presentation is done, which is part of the um, adaptive immune system, okay? Um, that occurs within the innate immune system, but that leads to the adaptive immune system. In the adaptive immune system, the whole goal here is your body is gonna produce antibodies. I've done many, many videos on this, but fundamentally, the, um, the whereas the innate immune system is just trying to take it out in a non-targeted way, um, the adaptive immune system for that specific antigen, in this case, you're looking at the surface protein of the virus, um, it attempts to uh, use the cellular structure of B cells and T cells um, to create a particular antibody, which has memory. So the next time, if that antigen ever comes, your body knows how to react, okay? Now the interferon system that I've talked about that was part of my PhD work at MIT, really is a, another complete system that most, most medical doctors, most people don't, they know about it, but they don't know the importance of it. It's a fundamental system uh, in the immune system. And the interferon system is critical because it's the middleware between the innate and the adaptive. Um, all right, so we have to understand bottom line, the immune system is more complex than what, what they came out in 1915. Um, now the health benefits of turmeric are quite broad when it comes to immune health. Um, the curcumin in turmeric modulates the immune system, the immune cells and the immune uh, cytokines um, from the innate as well as the adaptive immune system to, through, to really two methods, antioxidant, oxidative properties and anti-inflammatory properties. 
you've probably heard of this thing called the cytokine storm that your dogs can also, or your pets or your can undergo. If their immune systems are weak, the immune system overreacts. Now, if you support their immune system with uh, antioxidants and anti-inflammatory um, um, you know, inputs, it's gonna give you immunomodulation. So curcumin mitigates allergy and asthma, right? So you don't overreact, okay? So one needs to understand it is not these antigens are coming in and eating you up, but is the overreaction of the immune system. So curcumin really mitigates several autoimmune diseases, uh, metabolic diseases through the modulation of the immune system. How does it do this? So at the innate level, curcumin, you can see this molecule, what it does it does is it augments the cytotoxicity, which means the killing capacity of the killer cells. So it supports your natural killer cells. That's a green line. It supports your macrophages, right? But it also lowers the oxidative stress created by inflammatory macrophages, right? So your M1 macrophages create in inflammation, okay? And it knocks that down. So it's got, sort of got a one-two punch. It supports the natural killer cells in the M2 macrophages but it also lowers the oxidative stress created by the inflammatory M1 macrophages. So curcumin is very, very nice in supporting the innate immune system. Um, it also supports the adaptive immune system in two ways, okay? First of all, it suppresses the activation of what you can see IL-2 here, okay, which is a cytokine, and it suppresses the proliferation of Th1 cells by inhibiting IL-2, which is important. It also suppresses the pro pro proliferation of Th17 cells by also inhibiting IL-2. So what this does, it, it really, um, these are pro-inflammatory um, events and you don't want that to occur. But on the other hand, it stimulates the proliferation of antibody producing B cells via the suppression of oxidative stress. So again, it, supro it, it positively su uh, supports your creation of antibodies. And then on the other side, it inhibits these pro, um, pro, um, uh, it inhibits IL-2, okay, which is pro-inflammatory. The other thing is it, uh, um, uh, turmeric really modulates the inflammatory cytokines. Again, you don't want to have the cytokine storm, nor do you want to have the pets have the cytokine storm. And you can see IL-2, TNF-alpha, IL-6, and IL-1-beta, these are very, very powerful um, cytokines, which lead to the cytokine storm, and curcumin inhibits that. Um, and then it also inhibits COX-2, which leads to inflammation. Again, inflammation and the cytokine storm are not good things um, to have, and if you, if you can modulate them, you're supporting the immune system. When it comes to allergies, if you think about skin allergies your pets have, you know, respiratory allergies, right? Um, again, curcumin blocks, as you can see, IL-2, GM, um, CSF, IL-5 and IL-4, which lead to respiratory issues like asthma. And it also blocks oxidative stress, which leads to allergies, okay? All sorts of allergies in the system. So again, another very powerful effect of curcumin. So in summary, turmeric activates the, the innate cells of the immune system. That's the first thing. It supports and inhibits inflammatory enzymes. Um, you know, such as COX-2 and the inflammatory cytokines involved in the cytokine storm. So it's like shock absorbers for immune system. So your immune system properly modulates itself um, and supports your pet health, obviously. And, and the turmeric also mitigates allergic reactions. Um, you know, I was speaking to my vet recently and he was saying most dogs and most pets are very, very allergic to a lot of the, um, you know, most of the poultry products because it's not the poultry in and itself, but what is the poultry being fed these days, okay? GMO, soy, et cetera. So, you know, pets have all sorts of allergic reactions from the time the pet eats something and it goes through its system. So again, um, if you wanna modulate that, again, turmeric is a very, very powerful um, input to do that. The other piece is turmeric really improves outcomes for diseases affected by immune systems, such as autoimmune, cardiovascular diseases, and neurodegenerative diseases. You can find K9701 right up on our shop. And before I go to that, I'll come back to that where you can get it. Um, everything that we do is we take a systems approach. Um, recently, we, about a year ago, 
we use the same systems approach from the technology I created called Cytosolve, which we're now going to make accessible. I'll, I'll be talking more about it through our Cytosolve Open Science Institute. Um, but we've also used this technology, and I'll come back to K9701 to really support um, human um, you know, immune response and joint health. And I'll play a quick video so you'll understand what is Cytosolve, but you'll also understand that the same technology in addition to pets has been used to support humans. Let me play that and I'll be right back to finish up K9701 and turmeric. Millions of people suffer every day from painful discomfort and swelling, but most pain medications come with harsh side effects and many alternative supplements have little scientific backing. That's why we at Cytosolve created MV25. MV25 was formulated using the Cytosolve Computational Systems Biology Platform, a technology for precision and personalized health invented by Dr. Shiva during his doctoral research at MIT. This formulation is the result of computing trillions of potential combinations of biomolecular interactions derived from thousands of peer-reviewed scientific papers published across four decades by 68 research institutions to discover an optimal synergy of compounds that downregulate biomarkers of discomfort and normal swelling. Hi, I'm Barbara Ann. My hands would cramp up so that I couldn't hold cards or knit or crochet. And they would go like that. Not have to use this when I played cards with my grandkids. And I started taking that MV25. After a bit, I was able to hold cards in my hand. Very, very little cramping, hardly at all anymore. MV25. Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm a Taekwondo instructor. I tore my ACL during Taekwondo. I had a lot of pain and limited mobility. I've been taking the MV25 for about six months now. After the first week, I noticed a big difference. After the second week, almost literally no pain. My name is Jeremy and I suffer from a lower back problem. Hurt my back at work years ago and I can go to the chiropractor, do all kinds of different things and nothing seems to help and I decided to try MV25. I didn't notice a difference immediately but within a few days the pain went away and it stayed away. I've continued to take it and even when I do things that I shouldn't do it seems to go away a lot quicker than it ever did before. MV25 is certified clean, 100% non-GMO, made in America and GMP certified for good manufacturing practices. MV25 is Cytosolve optimized which means that this formula has been engineered to maximize benefits while minimizing toxicity based on current research curated by Cytosolve. As the science advances, so will this formulation. This is our promise. Order online at mv25.life. Consult your doctor before taking any supplement or medication and use as directed. MV25. All right, guys, I accidentally forgot to stream out on YouTube, um, so let people know. So um, I'm going to do a call and take a couple of questions, but before I do that, uh, where do you get K9701? Again, let me uh, finish K9701. Um, when you look at it, it consists of a number of very, very important things. By the way, it's about a teaspoon you can give to a 25-pound dog. You know, our dog's about 100 pounds. They take four teaspoons or two tablespoons. We mix it in with their food. But the K9701 is not only for one subsystem, it has many powerful uh, values for multiple subsystems. That's why it's a whole systems um, approach here. Heart health, skin health, brain health, antiparasitic, bone health, metabolic health, immune health, joint health. And again, it includes many, many different um, um, components that I've discussed. So what I want to do is um, some of you have really enjoyed. So this was we discussed turmeric today, but many of you have asked uh, you want to do questions, Q&A. Um, so we can do that here. Um, I'm going to post a, um, a banner here um, that you can call in onto our line. You can call in at 857-997-9545. We have a new tool that we have that we're using that will allow us to uh, take your calls. OK. So we can take calls coming in if people are interested in um, 
uh, making a call. So if you want, we'll take a couple of minutes or I'll look right on here and we'll take comments here, right here. So someone says, can I get this in UK? Yes. By the way, we um, manufacture everything using uh, a local partner. It's made in the United States, K9701. And then you can um, also get it right here in the United States uh, and we'll ship it um, to anywhere on the planet. Um, let me um, just give everyone where you, everyone's asking where you can get it. Well, you can go to vashiva.com. And if you go on vashiva.com, I got to find the shop here. And if you go to the shop, um, you can find K9701. I'll put the link in. But it's really a food in many ways, right? It's a whole health um, supplement. Again, obviously, you should talk to your uh, vet, et cetera, um, before you give your dog anything. You know, it's just a important disclaimer. But this is where you can get it. Um, there you go. Um, so I just put the link to it so people can go get it where they want. Let's see if anyone. Um, so we, we've we set up a call in so people can call if they want. Um, or you can ask any questions on anything that I've discussed on turmeric, et cetera. All right. Someone says a great product also reduces negative sy symptoms. Um, yeah. So this is on MV25. Someone says a great product also reduces negative symptoms from menstrual cycle. Bravo, Dr. Shiva, bright star in the dark world. Thank you. Um, someone says, I take turmeric daily. Um, great. Um, uh, so someone says, um, my dog constantly bites and scratches her tail. What could this be? Obviously, your dog's having some type of uh, allergic reaction. It also could be something, you know, again, you should talk to your veterinarian having to do with some stress, okay? Or something else going on in your house. Our dogs recently had that about a year ago. Um, our male dog in particular, because he's very, very uh, emotional. And we'd gone away for about six weeks. So obviously, he was a little bit upset. Okay. Um, so dogs are, you know, um, you know, they all have different personalities. No one of them is the same. They're, you know, as different as human beings. Um, all right. Uh, someone says, is it best uh, to take curcumin or uh, turmeric or curcumin. Um, so look, um, curcumin, as I mentioned, is the active ingredient, the compound within um, turmeric, okay? It's the active ingredient. That's what curcumin is. Um, the, the uh, and there's many different types of curcuminoids. Turmeric is a whole plant, okay? Turmeric is a whole plant. Um, and the important thing to understand is that herbs, um, the bioavailability of the key compounds uh, varies based on what you mix it with. So in traditional cultures, they would take turmeric, whole turmeric, dry it, grind it to the powder, but they would mix it with other things. So on a for humans, um, you would take milk, boil it at night and drop, let's say, a teaspoon of a turmeric in because the turmeric was made more bioavailable by the fats, um, by the lipids, the fats in the milk, right? Um, in uh, powders, right, um, or curry, which is a combination, turmeric was typically added to other spices, not only pepper, but other things that would increase the bioavailability. So in this case, you know, turmeric, we've combined with other things to increase its bioavailability. Yes, so you can take turmeric, but um, typically a fat, you know, makes it more bioavailable, if that answers your question, okay? Um, and to those of you asking, where do you get um, MV25? Sorry about, I didn't put that up, but you can go to mv25.life. Now, um, I will uh, we'll be having an open house shortly or a symposium to talk about Cytosol. We're gonna be launching an open science institute on Cytosol. What that means is um, we have, found a way over the last 16 years to do science faster and cheaper than the biggest academic institutions. So in order to really um, um, convert this to something that's valuable for all of you, what we're going to do is we're going to um, open up our scientific institute to the world. And you guys can propose scientific projects to us. Um, you guys can directly fund it because as you know, over the last 16 years, we've been doing a lot of science, a lot of publications, independent of the major establishment institutions, faster and cheaper. And we've been getting our stuff 
published in the major journals because our stuff is just very good. So we've decided that we're gonna make our scientific capabilities accessible to humankind. So keep an eye out for the Open Science Institute at, at, um, uh, brought to you by Truth, Freedom and Health and our movement. Um, and that's gonna go in conjunction with the Systems Health Institute, which is training new systems health educators, as well as MDs and nurses who never learned a systems approach to the body. So it's quite exciting. As I mentioned in the beginning of this year, we're moving towards solutions, solutions, solutions. Um, we've done a lot of work in exposing this establishment, the sw swarm creatures as we call them, but now we're about solutions. You can go look at all my old videos where I'm exposing them with a lot of vitriol and I'll continue to do that, okay? I'm not gonna stop, but 80% of our effort is gonna be to mobilize people with solutions. So this is a solution. K9701 is a solution for your pet. It's come from a lot of research, a lot of work by looking at many, many different ingredients and how they interact, okay? Um, Karen Henneberry says, I know what uh, is horrible regarding allopathic, which is Western medicine, so it'd be great to have real solutions. Yeah, look, Western medicine, to put it in context, is great uh, if you're in a crisis, right? Something horrible occurs to you, um, God forbid, car accident, you need surgery, you need antibiotics, you know, in a crisis. That's what it's great for. But it knows very, very little about treating the body as a system. So, you know, my mission in life, you know, given I've been trained in both worlds, is to really um, support both aspects, but really to put this in context. So starting um, um, this year um, and right away, in fact, this end of this um, month, for example, we're gonna be hosting at the Systems Health Institute and all of you are invited to a workshop, okay? And the workshop is a workshop, it's a three-day intensive. You can get a, there's one, two-day, three-day passes, but it's an intensive where you're really gonna learn the science of systems, really the science of everything. Um, and if you guys wanna come to an introductory lecture on this, we're having that uh, coming up, frankly, quite shortly, um, which is coming up this Friday. Let me bring that up so you guys can also attend that if you want. A lot of, lot of announcements, we're doing a lot of things here. So if you go to the events page here on um, vashiva.com, you'll see that we have the introductory um, uh, lecture taking place and it's open to the public, but you really understand that what we need to do to retrain, and I put up the link to that, we need to really retrain um, health professionals. And we need to also enable people to really understand how their body is a system. So it doesn't matter whether you're a nurse, an MD, yoga practitioner, chiropractors, all those people will benefit, but you'll really benefit um, from this. And I put the link right there. Um, if you wanna really un start understanding how the body is a system. So we, so the Systems Health Institute has been around since 2007. Uh, with all the work I've been doing on the political end, I had to put that on hold, but we're relaunching it because Truth Freedom Health demands that. Um, TruthFreedomHealth.com provides you all the tools uh, to learn how to be a, a better citizen and an activist. Systems Health provides you to really understand the body of the system and you can proceed on various types of certification programs we have, uh, create your own Systems Health business, and then at Cytosol, we're literally using all the technology we've created to uh, change the world and uh, deliver um, science, research faster and cheaper and make you a part of that, okay? So anyway, that's what we do. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, MV25, you can go look up K9701. And uh, we'll be putting this video up on uh, YouTube, which we forgot to stream on um, shortly. All right, everyone, thank you. Um, be well, um, be the light. I hope this was valuable and, um, that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.